Aries. <clears throat> this is your general reading for the week of December 17th. Uh, this is a general reading, so it, but it's for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you don't know your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, you can look that up on cafeastrology.com, and I'll link that in the description box below. So this first card I was holding up, Two of Swords, and I'm sorry, this is my deck that's in Chinese. Um, so Two of Swords, Swords, your overall energy for the week, you might be feeling um, like you're at a, at a stalemate, at a truce, you have a decision to make, possibly, or you might be feeling, you know, um, like you're, you're blind to something or, or turning a blind eye to something. Uh, maybe a, a situation you just don't want to face. So, uh, and, and I felt a little bit of anxiety when I was shuffling for you. So you might be dealing with some anxiety this week. Uh, yeah. And yeah. So then we've got, this was the bottom of the deck. Uh, this is a, this is King of Pentacles and, uh, you might be dealing with an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn this week. Or this could just be somebody who, yeah, this could be you embodying these qualities or dealing with somebody who embodies this quali these qualities. So, but they might, they might be uh, a person who's um, grounded and, and, you know, can be nurturing male or female. Uh, somebody who's financially stable usually and somebody who, you know, has, has, you know, an like an authority figure type, you know, they're a leader either at work or in their home or just somebody that maybe you look up to and can can offer a lot of guidance. So then for your first card of the spread, we've got Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, this is not showing up very well on my camera. Um, there we go. There's the pinnacle. It's too bright. So Ace of Pentacles, this is a new financial opportunity or just new money coming in or a new business idea, a new money making idea. Uh, this could be like a check coming in for you or, you know, a bonus on your, your paycheck or um, a, a windfall for some of you, like, you know, possibly... I don't want to say winning the lottery, but you know, if you play it and, and you win like a little extra, you know, it, it might be a little or it might be a lot. Um, this could also be uh, like an inheritance or something. So you might be getting a, a second job or a new job or a raise at work even. Then this is what's influencing you. So you might be, this is the, the Ten of Pentacles, it's the legacy card. So you might be planning for the future and your financial stability in the future, planning for retirement. This could be, you know, you have a business idea that you want to incorporate your family into. So this is like a very family centered card. This is, you know, it's like an old man with his his, you know, kids and, you know, son-in-law or whoever in and little grandkids in the background and pets. And so he's surrounded by all this abundance, you know, he's created his legacy and uh, he or she. So this, this is really just, you know, about planning for your financial future. And uh, yeah, that, that, so the, this is, this is influencing this for some of y'all. Then we've got your goal. So this is for some of you, so this is Knight of Cups. For some of y'all, your goal might be to, you know, have some new love coming in or you want to offer your love to someone. Uh, for some of y'all, y'all might be, you know, longing for a water sign, it, you know, someone in particular, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, this could also be just a, a message coming in, you know, about maybe from a friend. It doesn't have to be a love interest, especially if you're not single. This could just be uh, a new friendship even that you're hoping for or or uh, you, you want to become friends with someone in particular. But for, yeah, for some of y'all, this, this is just your, you're wanting contact with a 
a particular water sign you maybe you want it could even be like a long lost sibling you know that you haven't contacted in a while and maybe they're a water sign and uh, you're you're hoping to receive a message from them or, or send them a message so then subconsciously you uh, and I'm so sorry this is the lighting is these are so glossy so this is ace of wands this is a new passion or new inspiration you might be newly inspired uh, this could pertain for some for some of y'all dealing with that legacy or the new financial opportunity this could pertain to that maybe you're you're uh, discovering a new passion and um, and uh, you might be have you know having a creative streak so that's cool then in the recent past we've got five of cups so this you might have been experiencing some depression and sadness and grief and maybe you know not maybe focusing more on the negative than the positive because see the cups are tipped over but there's some behind him he or she that haven't tipped over but he's focused on the ones that did tip over so it's like focusing on the bad not not realizing the good that's still in your life but this is recent past so this is your your past that point most of y'all should be because these other cards look fairly decent there's just one that yeah anyways um so this is knight of wands and this could be a new fire sign coming in for some of y'all or I, I always say new i don't mean it as new this might be just you know you might be dealing with a fire sign this week so uh, that's you know your sign aries leo or Sag sagittarius but uh so this could also be you and your element this week but so the knight of wands is creative passionate fiery you know they're they might be very entertaining um and um knight of wands there that could be a message coming in from a fire sign uh this could also just be somebody who is nomadic you know they move move around a lot or they they can't stay in one place and uh yeah so that's not that's not negative in any way from in in my you know from my perspective then we've got how you're going to be feeling about yourself. Uh, Eight of Swords is, you know, like self-perceived imprisonment or just feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Uh, and, and this could pertain to that stress card that we had. And this card is so similar to this one, in my opinion. But, you know, so good because she's doing like introspection and she's surrounded by swords. So it's, you know, that like this card also could mean like guarding yourself. But this one, it's like she doesn't even pay attention to her surroundings because she's got a blindfold on. And I wish you could see that better. She's blindfolded. And so, but she's got very loose bonds and, uh... You know they could easily be be cut with those swords if she were to pay attention she can free herself very easily it's it's just like i said self-perceived she just sees herself as being trapped but she has the she has the tools and resources to free herself so that might be how you're feeling this week male or female of course i i say her because that's a girl in the card so then this is how others see you. Uh, you are a fire sign. This is the Leo sign, uh, but this this is the strength card. So this is people see you as being persuasive and strong, and you know being able to to control people or control situations with you know gentle strength. This isn't about trying to have brute force on a lion. This is somebody who who has a sway over it. So, you know, for some of y'all, it might be manipulative in a way, but this is upright. And I don't really read reversals anyway, but for some of y'all, y'all might be seen as manipulative. But 
but I see it in a positive light. It's like you can make situations go in your favor. It almost like manifestation is how I'm reading this for this spread anyway. So like you, you can, you can make things go in your favor. That's how I see it. Then for hopes and fears, we've got the high priestess and, uh, so the high priestess is just, you know, she's got the tree of knowledge right above her and then, you know, the two different opposing pillars. So it's like duality and she's got the scroll, but we can't see it. So it's like hidden knowledge and secrets. And, uh, but this card is about intuition. So she's very intuitive. She can read people. And uh, so maybe you're hoping that you're going to, that you'll expand on your intuition or maybe you're hoping to uh, expand on your knowledge in, in something. I don't see this in a negative light. Like I don't see this as a fear at all. Or, you know, if it is a fear, maybe you fear that you won't, you won't gain the knowledge you need for a situation or, you know, have the in, intuition that you that you hope for so about a situation then for the final outcome we've got I pulled three cards so first we have death this is not a negative card in any way this is a card of transition this is a new beginning something had to end for this you know like that person had to end for a new beginning to happen not that you can see the new beginning but that's what this card means it's a new it's a new beginning it's a card of of transition transformation so that to me that's that's good it's like that other card your recent past you know you were upset over something well that you know you've got a new beginning coming and this is you planning for that this is you wanting to expand on something maybe a, a passion, a business venture, and you're, you're wanting to uh, maybe grow your family. This is a card of expansion. So, you know, you, you might be wanting to grow your income or, I mean, most people want to grow their income, <laughs> but, you know, you, you're wanting, you're looking to the future and planning for that. So that's a very optimistic card. And then look you have this is seven of cups so this is a card of having options many many options good and bad you gotta weigh the pros and cons of each before you make a choice this is also a card of fantasy or like imagination so you uh you might be in your head a lot feeling like let's see you might be fantasizing about all the options you have and maybe they aren't quite present, but for most of y'all, I feel like they really are there. And you just need to make a choice or, you know. This this coincides a lot with this, you know, expansion card planning. You This is also like choosing a new path, a new direction. So this is a card of choices and this is a card of you need to make a choice. Anyways, that's your reading for the week, next week, and uh, I plan on doing some love readings for next week, like, not not this same week that I that this reading's for, but the, the next week, so I'll do a general and a love reading for the week of, I guess the 24th, whatever that Monday is. Um, so yeah, if you're if you like this reading and you look forward to a love reading, make sure you like like subscribe and and uh, hit the bell notification so you can know when I come out with more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.